walking up here, you have everything. Everything. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, then a big huge welcome to you. I know I have been gone for about a week, but I've decided to vlog again because I am doing something that is going round at the moment, but it's going through its early stages, but I discovered a brand new tag. The new tag that I'm doing is called Let Me Obsess, so it's talking about obsession with something. So there's no questions involved, and all you basically have to do is just talk about your favourite thing and the tag was set up by the one and only Mr. Connor Ward and since he's talked about his obsession with the song Go the Distance from his favourite film Hercules I thought that I would do it on my own but Connor did have a chat with me about it before he uploaded the video the other day and he said that I should take part so I thought I would just take part so I'm recording this straight after I watched Connor's video <laughs> and prepare for some little bit of excitement and some rambling because I'm going to be doing that a lot in this video and this is a childhood obsession I've had ever since I was five and that obsession led me to build and build but it's all in the Disney universe but it's also out of the Disney universe as well but I think for now we'll stick to the Disney universe. The obsession that I'm going to be talking about today is Tarzan! <laughs> oh I see. But it's not going to be about Tarzan today. It's going to be about this lady here, Jane Porter. And she has been my obsession ever since I was five. And I still have all the Tarzan stuff, mainly because of Jane. And I've got a little bit of explanation to say why Jane's my favourite. But I'm going to do like a little bit of history and then I'm going to play some like music but hopefully I won't get copyrighted by YouTube but also I'm going to show you some pictures as well not just from the film but from the musical as well. Tarzan is one of my first films well in fact one of my first Disney films together with my first ever film that I saw in the cinema with my mum and I just fell in love with it straight away and I fell in love with it because it had a human connection. It has showed emotional feelings, it showed me the important lessons of life including acceptance but then also I just became so attached to it. I mean I liked all the characters but the one character that caught my attention the most was Jane. And the reason why I liked Jane so much is because of three different reasons. One, she's very intelligent, and I think somehow her personality is very similar to mine, but that's just my opinion. Number two, she's footloose and fancy free, so that means that she likes to dress up, but she doesn't really care about what she looks like, which is a very good go for her. But sometimes she does get a little bit so-and-so about her looks, but in the main majority of it she doesn't at all, especially in the TV series. And number three, she's got the guy. <laughs> and I know that it sounds cringy, but I was just so jealous of Jane. When I was a teen, I imagined myself being Tarzan's Jane, and a lot of people would think I'm just weird. But I think since I was obsessed of having Tarzan, I thought I'm just going to put Jane out of the picture. But there are other times where I would bring her in because she's still my favourite. But Miss Jane, she has been in a very amount of films. Well, not just films, but a TV show and a musical. She, she's not really recognised much in Tarzan, but it wasn't just the main film that I was obsessed with. I've got the Tarzan and Jane film, 
which is the last three episodes of the TV series that was only cut short really but I really love the story even though people are a little bit so and so about it but I just love it no doubt and since I grew up with the TV show as well it, it has like a strong connection and again it has very important morals in life and I've learned so much life lessons from that TV show I really did but then also I got Tarzan too it didn't have Jane in it but I knew that when I watched the sequel for the first time I, I just really loved it I really loved the human connection and it was the only time that I didn't obsess with Jane I was obsessed with Tarzan once the DVD was over well when the films were actually over I started having a little obsession with the musical and the musical came out when I was about 13 maybe 14 and I always wanted to see it on Broadway but I never got a chance and I'm still so sad about it <laughs> but I was determined to keep Tarzan with me even though I never got a chance to see the musical or to see the full musical on YouTube but I have listened to some of the songs on my CD but I may want to play it again at some point but I don't really know yet for sure but my, one of my favourite songs from the musical which has Jane in it is different Uh, I mean that's a really good song. A lot of people say it's so and so, especially waiting for this moment. But <laughs> I love waiting for this moment. But one of my favourite ones really, I think, is For the First Time. Even though it was a love song, oh, it, it was just so beautiful. I'm the person who's really addicted to love songs and this was one of my favourite love songs from a Disney musical. There was just something about it that really caught my attention and I know that when I listen to it, it just makes me feel like I'm in that moment, I'm in that love universe and I just think about everything that I love and now, especially when I'm older now and I am in the relationship, I think about the person I love and it's really, really interesting to see it in different perspectives really from when you're a child just thinking, oh it's a nice song and it does have meaning but it's just nice to listen to too when you're an adult oh yeah it's a really nice song but I could connect to it but nothing nothing can compare to the one thing that I absolutely adore and I still keep on my bookshelf is Ta -da! the Tarzan musical Broadway adventure book I remember that I got this for my 14th birthday and I said to my mum and dad I really wanted this for my birthday just so I can be prepared when Tarzan actually comes to the West End or if I get to see it on Broadway but I did not but this is the only book that's very close to me I used to like read this probably all the time when I was in secondary school, especially when I was feeling a bit bored, feel lonely, or I couldn't get to sleep at all. Can we please pay tribute to all the perfect scenery design uh, that has been created for the musical? <laughs> I just love this so much. Anyway, I'm going to be moving on from that. And let's see what else I could find there. Because the pages, I would skip most of the pages in this book because I'm just like... I really want to get to the Tarzan and Jane part. When I looked at this one, <laughs> I would just be like, yay, it's Jane! <laughs> and then I'll show you my favourite pictures up close. Some of them may be a little bit small and I won't show you the small ones, but I don't want to go on about this forever because I know you guys will get bored. This is one of them during a dress rehearsal, I believe. And I don't know what scene is it from. Is it from Different or Strangers Like Me? I cannot remember which one. But then, 
bring on to Jane herself. Who who's the Jane who played her in the musical? It was um, Jean uh, Gambretti. So I think that's how you pronounce the name, but I really don't know. But all the pictures of Jane. Oh my gosh, the costumes. Her costumes. They are to die for. Now, it's not like based on the costumes in the Disney film, but it's kind of like it's traditional to the era, especially since um, Tarzan and Jane was in the, um, I think it was in the Victorian to the Edwardian era. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. I really could be wrong. But yes, that was all of my Tarzan stuff. This video isn't over yet because I am going to leave a little clip somewhere because about last week, Karna said to me that there was going to be a live stream, a live 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 stream of a charity concert and all the Broadway singers sang the songs from Disney musicals and one of the songs that happened to be in there which I nearly cried, I really nearly cried and it was the actress, the original actress who played Carla and she sang You'll Be In My Heart and oh, all the memories came back to me. <laughs> Josh Strikland, who was the original Tarzan, he did sing a song too, but he sang Santa Fe, which is from Newsies, I believe. But I could be wrong, I really could be wrong. But I think the You'll Be In My Heart, it'll always be the number one song for me, really. And it was interesting, though, because she sang the different versions from the Phil Collins pop song to the actual musical but I, I still loved it, I really did and although it's not Jane related I, I just thought to myself yes this is my home away from home if that makes sense but I really don't know for sure <laughs> but yes I I think that's it. So thank you Connor for uploading your original video on the tag. So now it's your turn. I'm not going to be tagging anybody for this but if you really want to do Connor's tag then go, go for it. If you do vlog the Let Me Obsess tag on YouTube or if you share it on social media like Twitter and Instagram please include the hashtag and please let me know and please let Connor know as well. It will be fantastic to get everybody involved especially during this time and I cannot wait to see what you guys have done as well so let me know as well what is your obsession and what is your favorite Disney film like I said before if you w want to do the tag feel free to film it on a vlog or post it on social media but if you want to include some bits of your own as well please let me know I think that's all I'm gonna say because I really need to tidy up but then also I'm gonna have to edit this video because I'm hoping that I can upload it at some point tomorrow which will be Wednesday but I don't really know yet for sure but we're just gonna have to see how I go and yes <laughs> yes yes indeedy so until then guys I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world be well stay safe and always remember to keep on dreaming and never stop believing I'll see you very soon bye <laughs> I was going to bring a hat, but unfortunately it got stolen by the moon, so I had to do it with the tethers. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I just uh, picked up some bits from the wardrobe oh, and then this ribbon I just found by the fairies. <laughs> um, England. Um, near London. Where Jane is from. That's very right. Are you taking it? Alright, one, two, and three, smile!